Oh my God. Wow. That did take long to put on it all. Quick, wow. quick installation, huh? Kevin, I'll be here. All right. All right. Is the inside of that wig a plunger? <laughs> Can you, Kev, make it straight. Oh my gosh, it's not even straight. Your wig is crooked. <laughs> Your tracks are showing. <laughs> so CP with the fresh, the fresh ones when you get that done. Oh, this old oh, man. You know, this the the twist, and then they twisted the twist. So like, you know, when the twists get old, you can always just twist them to the back. I'm learning the little natural hair tricks. You teach Pat. <laughs> Pete, teach Pat. Shut up, you. <laughs> Shut up, you. <laughs> Pat really just don't be trying to show his scalp. Hey man, free form. Meg, you can't give hair advice with the Marvin voice. It doesn't, it doesn't come <laughs> off like that. You gotta moisturize. You gotta really know your scalp. <laughs> <laughs> Those locks look heavy, Kev. They are light. Are they? Light and airy. What are they? Synthetic? Human hair, baby. Top of the heavy line. is the head that <laughs> holds the dress. <laughs> Wait, whose hair is that? That is human because usually when weaves are when they get Man, weaves, you sound like, like a nigga. I do. Um, my name is Marvin today. Marvin. What happened? I lost my voice playing kickball. I was screaming. First of all, my carburetor just fixed itself when you started talking. It was like, oh, man, let me get my act together. <laughs> <laughs> Did you at least win the game? No, but I got, I scored. Damn. I scored. You lost the game and the voice. What did you yeah. say, CP, at, during roast beef? He was like, <laughs> he won the competition. But he lost the books. <laughs> <laughs> for, uh, for Reggie, yeah. 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 <laughs> Meg, you really you gotta are do the hot wings with the wrench. <laughs> I be I be out here playing. I got a uniform and everything. How did you did you, <laughs> how did you find the adult kickball league? My sister in law played a, in a kickball league when she lived in Atlanta too. That's a big deal there. It is. It is like there's multiple leagues. Like I thought. Yeah, Meg played for the South Side Shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> don't give him that. Not, don't the give him Atlanta that. Samurais. <laughs> Meg, I got a show in in Lexington uh, in June. Mm -hmm. Have have your mom and dad come. Oh, they would be so happy to. They love coming to your shows, Kev. They had a great time when they were uh, when they came when I was in Elizabethtown. They don't do nothing, so they love coming to when you have shows. I'm gonna put them on blast on on this show too. Oh my gosh, my dad would be so happy. <laughs> Hey, that flyer was hilarious. That uh, the John Stockton, Carl Malone, it just <laughs> it fits so good. I'm like, damn, that really looked like them. Like y'all just got in the gym. <laughs> it's just decided. <laughs> just got, got to the gym real quick. Oh my god, these niggas went crazy over the weekend. That damn Mustang is changing to here. This nigga Mustang got him. <laughs> uh, y'all need to start a group. Miles Rodgers and Mustangs. <laughs> Eminem. <laughs> That's hilarious, dog. Yeah. Oh, That's a good time, man. That's good, good time. times were had by all. I'm yeah, looking forward to going on the road again, but I am nervous. I'm not gonna lie, like I ain't nervous. I don't man, nervous. I listen, bro. I am so happy to be able to do stand up in the club. I don't care that it's gonna be 25% capacity or 50% capacity, or I just, bro. I yeah. need to do I, this bad. Cause you just, cause you just, you just go up and chill. You ain't got to set it up, be responsible for nothing. It's probably like uh, a, a whole weight lifted off of you. That's the one well, he, thing. He wasn't doing that no way. I was going up I and setting up. You lying, bro. Kev, listen, this is how it went. For those that don't know, I'll wait to see if he gets back so I can tell him the truth. <laughs> here, here, I'm talking about, but you only, I'm talking about uh, the first two tours though. Not what necessarily did you the get one. up on the first two tours, Kev. To hear who was with you putting them them chairs up in Philadelphia. That was one show. You said one the, city. <laughs> listen, let me tell y'all something. This is what I would Philadelphia? do. Philadelphia? Did listen. you just really bring up one city? Listen, CP, <laughs> I I would go to the venue early and set up the shirts. If Kev would come later, he's the headliner, rightfully so, right? But other people sort of try to come late. I'm like, no, 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 no. You niggas ain't paying for my flight. If I ain't get flued out by you, I ain't doing your work. 
Oh, and then when it was just hilarious. me and Kev, I would go, I would go to the, I would go to the venue, I would set up everything, get this merch set up, just connect to the Wi-Fi. I'm out selling in between shows before the second show start. I'm, I'm I had a picture. Kev made me get this picture from Kinko's. It was a mask of his face. So I would have to like I would have to put that on in between the first and the second show to take pictures with his fans while he was in the back eating for the second <laughs> show. So I, I, they never took pictures with me. They took you pictures with the artist formerly known as Kev on stage. I thought, I thought that master that was uh, people wouldn't get freckles all over them. I didn't know that it had anything to do with looking like Kev. Yeah, yeah. It was a, it was okay. a print out with Kev's face. But here you just lie every day. And when you lie and it gets the truth, you do say. <laughs> yeah, that is true. With you in Philadelphia, setting up chairs. Yeah, that nigga he didn't even say, he didn't even put an S on it. He was like, "Remember, I was in Philadelphia helping you set up." <laughs> I did that <laughs> one chair in Philly. Come on, bro. <laughs> no. man, man, watch out, man. New shoes. What you got? Some old heat. Stock X. Some uh, some Spitz like eighty fives. Oh, I don't know if y'all remember these. Oh, those are fours. Those look like five other Jordans I've seen. Yeah, so like you know, like Spike Lee put a, a special Jordan together that had all his favorite Jordans: threes, fours, uh, sixes. They're like super. Trust me, these bitches was a penny. You understand me? Four hundred for these hoes. Four hundred. Are you gonna wear them? Or are you just gonna look at them? Oh, I'm definitely just gonna look at them. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. <laughs> I don't know yet. I got it for myself oh, for my birthday. I, 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 I had a I pair a long time ago. Shoes. I wear I everything. Them. Everything I buy, I'm wearing. I feel yeah. you on that. I feel you on that. Yeah. But I don't agree. I never got that. People buy shoes and just look at them like, man, I'd be so fly in these. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'm gonna tell you what it is. I'm gonna tell you what it is. When I get a new pair of shoes, all of a sudden, everywhere I go is not good enough a place to wear them. Like, why would I wear these down to the uh? No, I gotta wear these, you know what I'm saying? So, real talk, I'll probably wear them at a show. I like having brand new shoes on at shows because people can see your feet, you up there. Mm -hmm. It's important. I used, to, I used to get shoes, I just wear them to uh, keep your distance. Every, That's every what I've been doing. Distance, I was wearing a new pair of shoes. Kev was doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. that was the I don't know what I'm gonna do going. with them now. You say what? Shh, them damn elevens you had on the other day, kid. Give it to the pores. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Which ones he had on? Uh, he had on them, uh, them electric elevens. Oh, he didn't. Kevin didn't. Man, even hush know. to hear. They, <laughs> he didn't know that they were. This, he didn't know that they were a Saying the same stories. He Kev, him, you didn't like, know. Oh, I like this color scheme. I ain't know, CP. I I literally opened the box and I was like, "Man, this box is big. What what's going on here?" And then I seen like a charging pad. I was like, "Okay, let me look these up because this got to be something I'm not used to." And I looked it up and I was like, "Yo, these are self lacing. Oh man, the thing. Oh, this is amazing." <laughs> self lacing. I, yeah, you yeah, press bro. a button and it and it close the the shoes uh, tighten or loosen. It's fantastic, but you got to like, charge them, mm -hmm. like the Marty McFlies. That's exactly yes, yeah. exactly. So it's it's the adapts, but they did this is the first Jordan adapt collab, and they did it on an eleven. So it's already like a famous shoe anyway. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tinker said that the eleven was meant to be worn without shoestrings anyway. So this was oh, his really? dream. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. Mm -hmm. So this that's was his dream to have stretchy parts on it. Exactly. Yep. So that's why you know he was like, man, when it, when they put the shoestrings in, it kind of fucked it up for me because all the prototypes hadn't hadn't had that. So these are the first ones without it. That shit looked crazy. I was like, to be oh, honest with man. you, I, I I like the shoestrings still in them. I I don't know if it like. If the silhouette, I like the strings that they use. Those round strings, those, those, yeah. those then are like boot strings. I love those. See, yeah. the, see, what I fucked up is I told my wife I was all, you, you know how niggas be geek. Babe, look at these. They self lace. They sweet as hell. They five hundred. Now, if them bitches ever touch my address, now it's like you spent. How much is it's like? Oh man, <laughs> she don't know other shit. But like my dumb ass, like, look at these baby. Ooh, yeah. You can't never anything you too excited about. Never tell your wife uh, because then she gonna know how much. Said, it costs. Ooh. Ooh. She ain't even give a fuck. Nothing but just to make sure I don't get them. Like you know what I'm saying? Like hey, shit, just it's like <laughs> fuck, ooh. man. Anyway, now <laughs> I can say Kev got them. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> Kev got a network. You got a network? All right. That's what I mean. <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't bring me into the uh, for the hey, argument. Yeah, yeah. Kill, hey, everybody, I can't, be, everybody be using Kev because Kev's such a stand up dude. Like, well, yeah. if Melissa let Kev do it, then it must yeah. be okay. Bro. Melissa don't let me do nothing. I just be doing stuff though. <laughs> See, yeah, I need to say that Kev hard headed too. You think I'm the only nigga? Who, I, got, I need all your flaws, brother. Uh, is that a brand new unit, or is that the one that you had and you just got the tips done? This is a new unit, baby. Blonde tips. This is hot from South Carolina right now. I'm finna move to Atlanta. I got a house over in Decatur. You feel me? I, I'm moving from McDonough over to Decatur. Meg, what's up? I'm joining the I kickball. I feel like once once your dreads get that long, you should have been on or something. At that point, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like you ain't nobody yet. Like, nah, you gotta believe, start over. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got a whole new unit just for the dietist. You out here looking like Thai food dollar sign. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, Thai food. That's oh, good to hear. Is this name Ty Dollar Sign or Ty Dollar Sign? It's it's, it's, it's Ty Dollar Sign. Ty Dollar Sign. Yeah. Oh, you don't spell it out. No, I just uh, that was like most wide. letters next to each other. I think they just made a word. <laughs> 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 Not with rappers. Even <laughs> no, I, <don't> know. <laughs> I didn't know they he played that many instruments. You to Patrick with your with your locks. Patrick got to show you the Patrick, not the Wendy's. He did. The, he did the Wendy's. There you. Listen, oh, hey wow. guys, Pat's I don't lock. know stuff. Look at this animal. This is weird. Oh, what? This is a new thing. I don't know things, but I know a lot of stuff. Yes, we can have sex, but I won't call you tomorrow. I'm Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Uh, that wasn't a good. That wasn't a good. Uh... Yeah, but I won't call you tomorrow. <laughs> Another set of windows busted out of my car. What must I do to stop this from happening? <laughs> it's, it's not a good bun. It's not wow, a good this bun. This is flames, bro. Are you getting <laughs> killed, bro, out here, Pat? You said what? Are they killing you out here? Are are, are the ladies no. destroying your properties? No. I oh, just okay. heard about that one time. <laughs> <laughs> That's his Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> I was helping you set up chair. I got stopped and killed. So I got killed one time and everybody tripping. God damn. The funniest thing about that Philadelphia story is it was in the venue's contract to set up the room. So we got there and it wasn't set up. We were like, yo, what's going on? Y'all supposed to set this up. And she was like, yeah, I saw that though. I'm not doing that. We were like, what? She was like, I'm not, I don't, I don't know why they put that in there. I'm not putting these chairs up. Bro, Wait, admit, did they give it, like, you some money back? Be- no, and it was a white, it was a white woman too. She was just like, yeah, nah, I'm not doing that. So we were like, Man, so who's going to no set it up? She was like, nigga. No, she ain't say nigga, but she was like, <laughs> I don't know. Nah. And we were like, okay, well, shoot. And it was so we late. We just had to do it because we got there at the time as if that was the one and only time we got to a venue and there weren't, the chairs weren't there. So we really didn't have no, we had no time to right argue. There? They, they were, were still up. in they the back there. room. We had to literally wheel them out of the storage area on those little, you know, chair cart things, set them up, and put them back at the end of the show. Yeah, they made you put them back too. Yeah, we had to set it up back to. Oh, I'd have ran out. I'd I'd have dipped. <laughs> had y'all got paid already? I'd have been like, they, oh, I didn't they remember. Didn't you, they didn't give you no money back. No. Nah. Why did y'all put them chairs back up then? You know, I don't even know why. We because the venue didn't even get the ticket. The ticket money came to me. I, yeah. Why did we put the seats back? Just being was, a good person. Wasn't, wasn't just, the Kev just being a good person because I wasn't gonna do it. But Kev was like, "Yo, we gotta put these seats." Up. I was like, "All right, boss." It was in the contract. It was in the contract that they said they were supposed to do it though. The lady knew. She just was like, "I'm not. I don't. I don't know why my job does this. I don't even like this job." I don't know. It was damn, great. Karen. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, wish that's Karen, that's I wish Karen as a name though. was out then because she was absolutely Karen. She was so reckless with the I'm not doing it. I was we were just like, well, okay, then I guess we'll do Here's it. The thing. We didn't we didn't have we didn't have Danny with us. If Danny Rose oh, was, was with us, it would have been a different story. You understand? If Farron was there, it would have been a different story. But you know. that's wild. It was anyway. in the con- like, yeah, I read that part. She really was <laughs> like that, Pat. No lie. She was like, that's wild that they expect me to do this at this job. I don't even like this job like that. She's like, let me see that. You <laughs> signed this? You signed it? That's crazy. She actually mentioned her job? Yes. Oh, you're not joking. She was no, like, oh. I'm dead serious. She really told us, I don't like this job like that. And I'm not doing this. I don't know why they thought I would. We were just like, 
And she okay. still probably had a job after that. Of course she had a job, Meg. She's a white woman. That's why that's pretty reckless. Yeah. And we didn't really have no time to argue with her. So we were like, okay, but we that's part of the reason that I'm in clubs now. That's the the benefit of getting your own venue is a lot of time it's cheaper and all that. But the drawback is you don't know what type of situation you're walking into. What was that? One, that was a, a I rented the venue by, on my own. That was the first was tour. It, it was what, the what? Phil, Philadelphia um, Art Museum Ar or something Ar like architecture that. Architecture or something like that. Yeah, it was either Art Museum or Architecture or something like that. One time we went to a high school for like seven hundred dollars, and when we got there, they had forgotten that we were. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, the janitor was still there, and they were like, "Oh snap! You, they did tell me something about that." <laughs> anyway, I'm finna head out. I can, I could, uh, yeah, I'm gonna just unlock this and I'm gonna head out. We had to have, I believe, Josh had to climb through the sound booth window was left open. One of us had to climb through and turn the lights on. The lights weren't on the first five minutes of the show. They had no sound person. We had to have our own person running sound. Um, what? Our green room was the band room of the <laughs> high school. <laughs> it was terrible, man. Roy and Hank, man, this is the stuff people. That's don't why know. I was like, you know what? I gotta go into real venues. It's it's you know too what? it's too up yeah. and down. You know what? Seven hundred dollars ain't always seven hundred dollars. Sometimes you end up paying for it With one way word. or the other. Yeah. Yeah. But see, you ever you ever go to, to a comedy show that somebody's hiring you to do, but they don't understand the environment needed to do comedy. Ah, oh, bruh. That's Too the worst. many times. And they looking at you like, you wet. Like, we are in a fucking, uh, <laughs> this is a little bus stop house. Are you talking about, you know what I'm saying? It's like, what are you talking about? There's no mic. We're hugging. Like, what is this? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Me to here and Tony went to uh, Missouri, I believe. They had the stage <laughs> off in the corner, no light. The mic didn't work. And they sat all the people as far away from us, us as possible. Nobody close, nobody right. even close to each other. They just were like, well, people imagine, just said what they wanted to. Imagine one of those rooms at a at a hotel conference rooms, but like there's a center uh -huh. part in the whole whole room, like a little dance floor. They had the they had the the stage on the dance floor part, right? And it was just a little small stage like this off the ground. No lights over it. No, no, no mic over it. And the chairs and the tables are on the carpet part. But it's like they way, way uh, away from the stage. So it was just horrible. Bro, I we have a lot of stories listen, like that in the first listen, two years. I, I just got show. back from a college last week. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I just wanted to know how the show was. Horrible. It was awful. And the craziest thing about that show is downstairs they had a theater and we thought we were in there. We were like, oh, it's lit. It's lit. Jumping. They were All the students it. were there. It was for homecoming. Uh, so we're like, oh, black homecoming is going to be lit. They're like, oh, no, no, y'all with the alumni is upstairs. And there was like eight, <laughs> eight drunk people, six cues that were all drunk, two other people, and then like another dude. It was the worst. Oh, and that downstairs, was the whole audience? Just saying the whole, that, those that was the whole audience. And downstairs, right. it was like 800 people in a pack theater having a step show, DJ, lit. Kicking people walking. I mean, people recognizing us from there, but being like, y'all come to the step show? We're like, yeah. Oh, oh no, nah, we're going to be upstairs. They're like, oh, with the old people? All right. Well, all right, catch y'all next time. <laughs> Did y'all hear music during your yes, set? Yes, Patrick. It so it much was... fun down there. <laughs> them old niggas was trying to, them, them old cues and niggas was like, man, you should pledge. I was like, right now? Like, <laughs> you should what? You should pledge. pledge. <laughs> niggas right, trying to man. put me online, making a beeline to the goddamn green room. Hey, you should pledge, right? I, I, it was awful, man. What happened this weekend, CP? I went to Austin P. I never even heard of it before. Mm -hmm. so this college called Austin P. University Tennessee. in Tennessee. Yeah, and um, socially distanced. The green room was a racquetball court. <laughs> um, wow. I swear to God, like the seats were like 10 feet apart. Like the students were not even in class. This is their homecoming rescheduled. They rescheduled their football homecoming for last week. For March? Bro. The October homecoming. The October homecoming. In March. Festivities were in March. This was the comedy show. They had me and this other dude who I never even heard of. Um, he called me two days before, like, hey, man, because I had to fly into Nashville. Hey, man, can I get a ride with you to Clarksville? Like, nigga, I don't know you. 
This nigga snored a crackly snore the whole way there. This nigga was sleep the whole day. He had nowhere to go. I bought myself a hotel in Clarksville. This nigga just hung out. I'm like, nigga, are you you hanging with me to the show? Hotel. Yes. I'm like, bro. All right. You let him in the room. Bro, well, I, well, me and my road manager had a suite, so it was like, a, oh. you know, it was a space for the nigga, but it's like, we don't know you, fam. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, out there with no ride, no place? No ride, no place. He bombed so bad ahead of me. He bombed so bad. He was asleep the whole day. He got up there like, I ain't no drugs. So I don't know how this finna go. I just pulled up the, I went and looked for y'all's flyer. So I know who you talking about now. You seen him before? I, I've seen him somewhere, but I feel yeah. like terrible. He looked like know. somebody de shell a Ninja Turtle. Like somebody like get the shell off of him and boil him real. That's what he Wait. looked like. This nigga was snoring. Man, can you put it up to your camera? <laughs> share no, your screen. It's on my screen. It's on my screen. I'm gonna oh, share, share I'm, your I'm screen. Let you share the screen real quick, man. No, no, let me. Okay. I hate right. my flyer picture. Look. The homecoming show. Yeah, that's us. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at his head. He has a snorer's head. <laughs> Ooh, Clay, and they ain't much in Clarksville, Tennessee. Right? I, I, I've been to Clarksville. It is Clarksville. There's a lot going on in Clarksville. This, Listen, this is a perfect time for us to stop and jump right hold into Hold on, hold on. Let me say this. Go ahead. Go ahead. The students are not even in class. They're just in the dorms doing virtual learning. These are these. Their mascot is the governors. Go ahead. That's all I want to say. Like <laughs> this, this school. Whoa. I was like, bruh. Go ahead. Oh all right. We're going we to jump into this first topic right after this. I'm a creative, all right? But I don't know how to do everything. I don't know uh, how to design and, and illustrate everything. Uh, I can come up with some great ideas, but that's where I need some help with, which is why I started working with Canva Pro. Canva Pro is the easy to use design platform that has everything you need to design like a pro. Whether you're a professional designer or just getting started, Canva Pro can help you boost you and your team's productivity and creativity. It's a quick, easy, and affordable way to design whatever you need. And it's no matter what you're sharing or the content that you're creating, Canva Pro has everything that you need in one place, including a collection of over 75 million premium photos, videos, audio, and graphics. Plus, Canva Pro comes with time-saving tools that simplify and speed up the creative process. You get all of this and more in just one Canva Pro subscription. Now, my favorite Canva Pro feature is the templates for all of my social media posts, okay? Y'all know I post all the time. I have flash sales for my t-shirts. I have shows coming out. I have new shows coming out. I'm rerunning old content to bring it back for the new people so it's new content. I love these templates because they help capture my audience's attention at first glance. And that's what you want. You want to be able to grasp people's attention immediately so you can make a lasting impression. So I want to help you guys out. Right now, you can get a free 45-day extended trial when you use my promo code. Just go to canva.me slash squad to get your free 45-day extended trial. That's C-A-N-V-A dot M-E slash squad. S-Q-U-A-D-D. Canva.me slash squad and get the free 45 day extended trial. You're welcome. First topic of the day we have, would you rather never pay for another flight versus never pay for another hotel? And those flights are international, they're domestic, it doesn't matter. You could fly from Burbank to Ontario if you wanted to, you wouldn't have to pay, okay? Any class? Any class? Wow. And any hotel you could stay at every SLS, every every everywhere, every Ritz Carlton doesn't matter. So one or the other. Wait, is there a time? No, like like one, ho the one night hotel life. versus one flight for the rest Mark of your life. Ooh, no, 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 I'm, I'm saying like, is it like a a week stay at a hotel versus a flight or round trip flight, or is like one night at a hotel? Stay as long as you want. Tell them to hear. Stay as long as you as many oh. flights as you want, as many hotel nights as you want. I'm going to tell you to hear, this might be one of the best topics I've ever heard, because I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Oh, I, really I know, to think I know which one. Because you know what? Let me you say this. Crazy? Can I say this? Go ahead. It, it's like, it, the places you want to go, both of the, like, most times it's, it's, it's one or the other, but there are places like Hawaii where you get hit both times. Like, the, the tickets to Hawaii are never cheap, and the hotels are never cheap. So it's like, you think about a place like that, it's like, ah. Oh. 
I think I think I would go with hotels just because it, it, it all breaks down to getting there versus staying there. And if you can if if the stay is unlimited, yeah, you'd want like first class tickets anywhere. But if you could stay anywhere, then you basically can live anywhere you want, you know, because a lot of the times you have to like balance like mm. okay, amount of time. It takes this amount of time to get out there, but I could only stay for like a week or two weeks and then I have to go. You have to always yep. balance how long you can stay yeah. first. And it's it's getting there is just happens twice. You have to go there and get back. But like if you have hotel stay, that means that you can enjoy uh, you can fly to Asia once and then literally stay wherever you want and just pay for train tickets or, or, or you know, what I mean, you don't have to fly everywhere, but mm -hmm. you could live anywhere in the world that you want for months on end and not have to worry about it. And I, you, yeah. I mean, if you, you still have to have the financial backing to be able to do that, like. Unless yeah, but if you're working from if you're working from home, like most of us are working from home for the most part, home mm -hmm. all you need is good Wi-Fi, bro. You could be like, I'm gonna live in Toronto for a couple weeks. Now I'm gonna live yep. in Bali for a couple weeks. Now I'm gonna live in right. uh, New York, then London. Like <laughs> that's true. And think about what we do. Even, even the what any trip, let's say, let's say you're going around the world. The most expensive plane trip you're gonna get is like what two thousand twenty five hundred max for a round trip. Mm. But for hotels, let's say you want to, you could do that in two nights. You can, <laughs> man, you, you can spend five some at bread mm -hmm. at a hotel. That's, right. That's a good so, point, man, because there's a there's a certain amount of cap on flights, too, because if it's too expensive, people be like, man, never mind. Like, nobody yeah. can afford it. But hotels, that man, some of these hotels, like, when I finally started doing a little bit better in life, I always felt like there was no good hotels in New York because everything was super small. Mm -hmm. I just didn't have the money for the right. real hotels. When you have right. the, when I found about like the uh, St. Regis, which is as nice as I got in New York. I was like, yo, this is like an apartment. Like it was lit. I'd only been staying in like Marriott's and, you know, stuff like that. And them rooms are super tiny in New York. Mm -hmm. They only have like six rooms and the hotel goes all the way up. Bruh. What do you have? <laughs> yeah. See, I think, Maybe I like, think... like penthouses. Yeah. But multiple stories. It's dope. Yeah. yeah. For me, I think it boils down to time, though. So, like, I think I would choose hotels, too, because you talk about it, it's free, but bang for your buck. Like, I'm going to to get somewhere is pretty quick to be somewhere, though, for as long as I want is. Yeah, that's pretty much invaluable. I feel like I can make a million dollars being everywhere where the money resides, so to speak. As yeah. a comedian, I could go somewhere hot and, you know, take over Texas for a month and then go, I, I could literally scour the whole country just staying wherever I want to stay and, and literally just being, I, I could be as famous as I wanted to be mm -hmm. with the you ability to be people everywhere. To ride. People give you rides from Clarksville to Clarksville. As long as you got the hotel, you straight. <laughs> yeah, bro. Shout out to my man, though. That nigga, he, he was cool, bro. Cause I know he gonna see this, but that nigga, boy, that nigga was snore sound like he was making a smoothie back there. I was like, God <laughs> damn. This nigga, <laughs> this nigga sound like a juicer. <laughs> I don't know. I think I, th I I love the idea of the hotels for free. I mean, you, don't get me wrong. That's that's always clutch. But I think about like how we are now, and yeah, the, ro the world is still kind of closed right now. But when it opens, like if you had free flights, you could literally live in Atlanta and just fly to LA for auditions or the film, or whatever. And then you could fly back that night or the next morning. You never have to worry about last minute flights you never have to worry about rebooking costs you don't have to worry about cancellations any of that type of stuff and that's also clutch and when we get on the road like yeah the mom the miles help and this is somewhat of a benefit for booking with the same airline but like to be able to just go to the airport and be like pick a destination and then just get a ticket that would be dope as well yeah, have y'all ever been a companion pass because i've had that companion pass yeah, I had that do too. it right Even with the companion pass you still could get bumped. You have the best yeah. chance of making it, but you still are flying standby for the most part. Like, and that's that's why I didn't that's why I didn't have a read up on the on the on the campaign pass or the standby buddy pass and all that in the last couple of years because I got stuck one time in Atlanta and I was stuck all day. I kept oh, yeah. getting bumped and I yeah. couldn't get home for like ten hours. I couldn't catch a flight and I was just I was like never again. So but I was, if you, I'm, you I'm gonna just say hotel, this: you could leave the airport and get a five star hotel real quick instead of waiting at the airport. That's true. Yes. And and how true. often would you be using that in emergency situations like uh, last minute auditions, as opposed to like you could probably just stay in L.A. for a couple weeks until the audition happens? 
Right. But you don't know when the audition is going to happen. That's the thing. You don't know when it's going to happen. But we what he's saying, though, is that a place like, like hey, LA or a place like New York is so expensive to stay there that if you can stay there for free and at, at a luxury point, yep. you're putting yourself ahead of the curve. It's like, bro, yes. like I'm at it. I have my family at a penthouse in LA or New York. That's just what it is. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like, it don't come into play until it's like Dubai or New York or, you know what I'm saying? Somewhere where it's like, this is exclusive and it's helping me. And you know what I learned early on? I, um, what was it? 2017, I won the, um, Oh, the hosting award for American Black Film Festival in Miami. And and NBC was like, we're just going to fly you down there, but you got to get your own hotel. And I was like, yes, I ain't got to pay for my flight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going to be in Miami. And then I realized why they only paid for the flight and not the <laughs> hotel because <laughs> hotels, one night at a hotel costs, it was equivalent to the whole round trip. And yeah. they were like, we ain't putting you up for five days. We're going to pay for your little flight and you figure out where to stay. And now and before so that, Airbnb was popping, right? Well, even with Airbnb, I mean, in a city like Miami, if you're going to be on a beach, like no, I'm Airbnb, saying, but was that before Airbnbs were popular? Uh, no, they were they were still popular then. Can you but imagine I, I mean, being be a homeless home, hosting that though? Like <laughs> back to you in the studio. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, if you didn't have a hotel, you just like, yeah. So welcome to the uh, Black Film Festival. You just fucked up. <laughs> I'm like, how y'all gonna have me out here for a week and dig me in a hotel? But I, it was crazy. because hotels are usually that is messed up. I Man, think that it, for me, it comes down to the fact that flights can only get so nice. I feel like I've seen like Air Drake and like all that stuff. Like it could get pretty nice, but like the 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 limit to how nice a hotel can get could be like some of these nightly prices are stuff that like even if I'm rich, I don't think I would ever do. Like I'm just Bro. like. Who's the C 30, CP's background right now, there, there's hotels that the outside of your room looks like that. I'm here right yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember we were in Cabo San Lucas and we had went to like ride cameras or something. And we stopped, we stopped at a hotel because it was like a van took you and picked up other people like a bus or whatever and then dropped you off like that. We stopped at this really nice hotel on the beach. I was like, dang, what the room is going for here? And they were like $30,000 a night. And I was like, a night people pay 30 grand a night that's so bro, like to, but you know what that like, means that they don't really it only that room only be occupied like four times a year and that's all they need right. for real for that's real I've, I've imagine seen, buying I've that seen some pricing airbnb on. too i've seen some airbnbs for like like seven thousand a night too out here or in like joshua tree tree like that area even in vegas i saw a vegas crib it's like a whole compound and it was like I think it was like twelve thousand a night. Thirty had like a whole game room. We had the theater into unlimited money. Like you have to have a mind state where that's just like I don't know if you can just come into royalty money like that. And that's like stuff I don't think I would ever do. Like I, I feel like I, like private jets or or first class. Like that's very very obtainable. But you talking about fifty a hundred k a night? Even if I had it, I'd be like, man, what Bro, else is out? Don't limit your <laughs> blessing, Pat. Man, you talking you crazy now, Pat. I I can't wait to spend 30K a night in Cabo San Luis. You know what I'm, I'm about to say, what? when I get these new uh, knees and get tall, I ain't going to know y'all niggas. 30K a night, if you're spending that much for a room, then that's nothing to you. Just like if you're spending, for you, if you're spending $50, $100 a night, you're like, I could do that. That's no problem. That's how you... Is, even if it's nothing to me, I'm not paying for it. I would get a situation where okay. somebody, I, I want the experience. I don't want the bill. <laughs> also, Pat, you can write, you can, the way I often think about a lot of these things, you can write that off. It'd be like you either giving the government 30 grand or you, you get to st stay in a hotel tonight for 30 grand. Either way, some of that money going to be gone. So I'd be like, yeah. all right, Uncle Sam, you're going to get the money left over. I mean, obviously I ain't got 30 grand of money. I mean, 30 grand a night money, but I, I, would, like, I would like to. I had to take the uh, whole time. I had to exchange that bag at the Dior store. <laughs> and I don't I don't understand how people just have money and spend it like that. It was a jacket in there for thirty six hundred dollars and it looked exactly like the jacket I had on. But it was thirty six hundred dollars. <laughs> Imagine how your jacket felt. Like what the fuck? Why am I right. here? <laughs> but here's the thing, here's the thing, Sydney, listen, the jacket I had on wasn't inexpensive. It was it was a it was a big name brand, it was a European brand, but it was just like it couldn't fuck with them like on his best day and i was just like people just come in here 
Because when I was standing in line, it was a dude outside. He was looking in, and the guy, they had the, the security guards. He was like, can I help you? He was like, yeah, I was trying to see if you guys have any ski boots in. He was like, I think we got some left in the collection. He called somebody up. He was like, all right, cool. I, could you grab three pair in a size 11? I was like, who just... Okay, y'all want to... I'm a slight flex here. I just, I just want to tell y'all this life has changed in some ways. <clears throat> when I went and bought this... Gucci purse, right? The lady was like, do you want to leave a card on file? And I was like, what? What What are you talking about? She was like, listen. Because I bought I bought that. I bought Marcus a backpack and I bought my brother-in-law backpack. They was like, listen, if you leave a credit card on file, the way things work is you don't have to come into the store anymore. You text me, hey, I want some black shoes. We'll send you by messenger all the black shoes we have in your size. You keep the ones you want and then tell me what you don't want, and the person will come and pick these back up. I said, hold on, now wait, what happens? So I hit her, I was like, yo, I need to get my mother-in-law a purse for Mother's Day. She was like, bet. She liked tote, she liked small bag, this. She was, I was like, oh, she kind of wants like a, maybe a handbag for every day. She sent me four or five of those. She also sent me some hoodies, t-shirts, some slides, stuff I didn't even ask for. And I was like, man, these slides is kind of hidden. I'm gonna <laughs> keep these. Wait, <laughs> Just they said- didn't ask for she sent Man. me all kind of stuff because their hope is your you'll just be like oh i like huh what'd you say man did you a text or sent them to your house she sent them to my house wow they got a messenger that comes and brings all the stuff and then i was like this is what this is what famous people do this is why you don't catch them on rodeo because rodeo comes to them can, oh, can, so, I, can i can i piggyback wow. off of that real quick so the bag that i went to go exchange is something kev got me for my birthday right and you ain't like your gift from him. It, it I, I didn't feel it. A bigger back it, was like a, it was like a wastelet, and it, my my waist was like shit. It was a waste shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> lit waist. I need a partner. It was, it was, it was was like, like, I need a partner, man. Come listen, on, listen. it's a team it was, lift. It was like a belt. It was like it was team, like a sandy pack one, but it was like a belt. Team lift. <laughs> so um, I go back there and I was like, hey, um, I have the gift receipt. And they was like, oh no, this is part of the Frederick's party, right? I, uh, yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, we have all the receipts. We have everything pulled out. Grab a water, have a seat. We'll take care of everything. I sat down. Really? And them what the I water wanted. taste? Dior-ish? I, they brought me all the Perrier I wanted. They gave me, they sat me down. They brought me over like six or seven different bags to choose from. Don't drink that, bro. That should have <laughs> give you freckles. Nigga, too late. That really happened to you? Yes. Really? I Nigga, can't tell. So, so I can't tell if he's lying or not. No, I'm be, I'm being 100% 100% factual. The reason that the jacket came out, I wasn't looking at the jacket. She went back to bring me a t-shirt that I liked and she brought six t-shirts and the jacket and glasses. They just do that in hopes that Wait, you're just you have a card up with Dior too, Kev? No. But no, I had they, the they they my, my uh, assistant went down there and got it for to hear. I think when you, uh, I'm not trying to flex. I'm just telling the truth. I think when you spend a certain amount of money, they just be like, okay, you. We need to keep tabs on, Listen, on people like they, you. So because yeah, Dior is even more expensive than than Gucci. Dior, the, I was the, like, the, God, the dude that helped out his uh, his assistant took my phone number down and was like, uh, just call me whenever you want to come in. You don't have to wait in line. We'll take care of everything. And he he texts me the next couple of days, be like, does any day work today or any time work today? Like everything. He hit me for the next two or three days until I came back in the store. That makes sense though, because with when when you have stuff that's that much more expensive than regular stuff, I feel like they're not waiting, they're not wasting time on people just window shopping and just like, oh, what time do you guys close? And yeah, let me come back. Like yeah. they yeah. care about that. If you they drop are- five- and racks, they'll be like, well, all right, well, do you need anything else? <laughs> literally, literally, I think their job is to keep you coming back and not going to their rival or just keep you coming back. And a lot of times, convenience is what keeps you. Like, That's I'd true. be like, oh, man, I don't really want to. I know I, I got to get my mom something and I'm leaving in May, but like actually going to the store, looking on Amazon, if somebody would do it for me, I, I'm in most ways in life, convenience makes things more expensive, but better. Uh, so when, when they're like, Hey man, and now that what she's doing is, Hey, does your wife need some new earrings and stuff? And I'm just like, you know, maybe she does, but <laughs> well, I, that's I, a, I, a lot of psychological stuff too, because I feel like yeah. just by 
said, you could probably talk yourself out of buying Gucci slippers online really easily. Just be like, what am I doing? I don't know. But if they bring it to you and they'd be like, and you get and to open like, up that house, It's already in my house. I already in your house. Like, I like the way these look on my floor. I got right. it. This shit like <laughs> listening to Michael Jackson talk about his brunch order yesterday. So then I said, bring me two rhinos and they had ran out. And I was pissed because I had frozen six rhinos. <laughs> And I had some guests, and so it, 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 they'll bring a rhino it, it, it right exactly to you. Like, yeah, like that, damn, kid. Right. It really, it, bro. It, it I'm telling you, man. Easy. I, I didn't realize how people be living, and I get why old white rich people be offended at everything, because yeah. the, the when you pay, bro, everybody knows your name. When you walk into the hotel, they already know you. When you check in, they somehow they know you. They they always got you what you want to eat. Stuff they don't do for normal people, they will do for you. Mm-hmm. But let's go ahead and put it to a vote, man. Uh, never pay for we... another flight or never pay for another hotel. Oh, never I'm pay still... for another hotel for me. Hotel for me too. I'm still for a hotel. Yeah, hotel for me too. Hotel for me too. Hotels have it. It's unanimous. We gonna move on to this next topic right after this. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I was running out of gift ideas for my mom. Okay, I've already done the watches. I've done perfume, I've done gift card, I've done clothes and shoes. I didn't know what else to get this woman until I remembered about Paint Your Life. And I remembered about it because I've already purchased one portrait for Farron and I. It's in our house, we love it. People come over, they always talk about it. It's a great talk piece and conversation piece that gets the people going. I was like, I'm gonna get my mom one of these. The dope thing about Paint Your Life is that you get a professional hand-painted portrait created from any photo at a truly affordable price. Because when I first heard about Paint Your Life, I was like, oh, that sounds like a great idea, but it's got to be crazy expensive. And I was crazy wrong, you understand? Choose from a team of world-class artists and work with them until every detail is perfect, all right? Their user-friendly platform lets you order a custom-made hand-painted portrait in less than five minutes. And it's a quick and easy process. You get a hand-painted portrait in about three weeks. That's right, three weeks weeks. You, you can send any picture, okay? You send one of yourself, you send one of your children, one of your family member, your, 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 a special place, your spouse, uh, a, a cherished pet, if you will. Or you can combine pictures together, which is really, really great because I have one picture where I just look magnificent. I look very, uh, uh, what's, what's the word I want to use? Stoic, if you will. And I have another picture of my mom when she's younger and she just looks so beautiful. And I'm going to combine those two pictures and that's the picture i'm going to get painted for my mom this gift is going to be perfect for her it's going to be meaningful it's going to be something that she can cherish it's going to be personal it's going to be something that she's going to show off when people come over her place as well and i'm going to be excited to know that i brought that type of joy in her life so if you guys are ready to take your gift giving to the next level at paintyourlife.com there is no risk, okay? If you don't love the final painting, your money is refunded, guaranteed. And right now, as a limited time offer, you get 20% off your painting. That's right, 20% off and free shipping. To get the special offer, please text the word CAST, C-A-S-T, to 64,000. That's CAST to 64,000. Text the word CAST, C-A-S-T, to 64,000 and paint your life, all right? Celebrate the moments that matter most. Also, terms apply, available at paintyourlife.com slash terms. Next topic of the day. You can only have one for the rest of your life. The other one is completely out of existence. Burgers versus tacos. I got to keep tacos. You can make, you know how many remixes of tacos there are? You can do anything. You can damn near make a taco that gives you the same feeling as a burger. If you use the right ingredients, you'd be like, oh, this is kind of the same. But like, I don't know if that works. Like taco burgers, you'd be like, I don't know if, if it works the same way. I love burgers, why, but. Why would until it you have that one burger. Yeah, you but You could then do the same thing with a burger. What do you mean? You could use different types of bread for a burger. You could use a wrap as your bread for the burger. You could it use the same as that. No, that's what Beast had a fire quesadilla burger that tastes just like a taco uh, a couple of years ago, mm. and it was it was lit. Domino's got that that taco pizza. That taco pizza tastes just like a taco, and a cheese. They got a hamburger uh, pizza too, though. That burger pizza, they yeah, burger pizza I, fire. Domino's about. got it all, baby. My fat ass would choose tacos, and then I would put like a a a, a meat patty in a taco shell and just. 
Just drop put a whole hamburger in a taco shell. You ain't about to take burgers from me. I just <laughs> <laughs> well, if they made a taco good. taco, I can make a burger taco for sure. Y'all for, y'all forgot about sandwiches though. You could loophole a burger with sandwiches. Mmm, that's true. Sandwich bread as burger buns is ghetto but effective. Yeah, I it's not the same. You're not gonna get that bread. What'd you say, Meg? I just said you could use different braids for a burger. She did just say that. We didn't hear you, Meg. Your voice was so low and deep. We just thought you were like humming a song with a lot of bass. Also, sandwiches and burgers are different. I mean, no, they're not. And it's essentially they're the same thing. It's just a type of meat pack. They but both have mayo. They both have bread. <laughs> they both have lettuce, tomato. Tacos you don't have mayo. You can't use ground beef in a sandwich. Oh, you talk about sandwiches. Oh. Yeah. So why you are can. there chicken sandwiches? Why are there what? Why are there chicken burgers and chicken sandwiches? They're the- and because the- I think a burger got to be ground meat. Ground meat. No, it doesn't. There's you right. Burgers. Okay, I'll try and help you out. Shit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you have a shrimp burger. When CP said that, I was like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> you have a lobster burger, shrimp burger. Oh, yeah. See? But the shrimp burger is like a ground up though, right? It's cause it's, it's like a po' boy if it's yeah. like big ass shrimp. Yeah, if they, you got do like, like, they do like, yeah, yeah. salmon burger. It's like a salmon patty. I think a burger gotta be like pattied out though. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you know. Yeah, oh, if it's a chicken breast, if it's a chicken breast, isn't that's it a just sandwich. a chicken sandwich? Yeah, Popeye's chicken sandwich. Love that chicken Popeye. Popeye. Yeah. That's a sandwich on every menu, but it's a patty. But that's wait, wait. What's the sandwich on every menu? A patty man, a patty melt. Mm, patty that's milk. just a burger, though. Ain't that just ground beef? Yeah, that's yeah. a burger. That's a burger. That's it's a on. Burger. It's considered a sandwich, though. Yeah, but no, it's but it, I think it's sandwich. considered a melt. Oh, because is it because the patty melt? It's the is bread. bread. It's the bread. It's the bread. Yeah. Or is so, it the melt? The melt is the cheese. I'm saying, because you do a grilled cheese, you never even acknowledge the bread. The bread is, got 89% everything to do with loop. the grilled cheese. This is this, this is, is far this more is, important than the discussion. This is what the is chicken a burger? and the egg all over this again. Is a, this is the new this is a, chicken chicken a logical egg. thing. Now, what makes a burger a burger? You understand me? Is it the bread or the bun? Or is it is the way to make it? Um, Let I'll me look. see. The main difference. Hold on. I'm looking. The I main difference. I want to say the ground beef is a thing that makes it a burger. Wait, Meg, what Hold is on, it? I'm reading it. I'm telling you, the main difference between the two is that a sandwich is prepared by placing the filling of the vegetables and meat between two bread slices, while a burger is cooked by putting the fillings between a bun and then sliced into two. So somebody it is dumb as hell wrote that. Google be killing me. Go to the next one. That top one be somebody paid to have that one. This is gonna be great. <laughs> It's bread. <laughs> okay, this is an, it's, it, this is says is a burger a sandwich. A hamburger is a sandwich consisting of one or more cooked patties of ground meat um, placed inside a sliced bread roll or bun, and the patty might be fried, grilled, smoked, flame broiled. So basically, it is a sandwich. It's like a sub. So then, what's a, the difference under the sandwich umbrella? What's the um, definition of sandwich then? Just the 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 stat the order of it. <laughs> Um, I think it's just anything between two pieces of bread. That's so then what part of the sandwich factor is burger? Because you still get, technically, you still get sandwiches if you give up all burgers. This is deep. This is so deep. Because now, now I'm thinking about fish sandwiches. Now I'm all fucked that's up. That's why I was just like, we've got to go outside <laughs> of that. Because, man, yeah, that's, man. That or is- meatloaf sandwiches. Meatloaf is considered a patty. It's packed together, right? Mm. Uh, yeah. I, I used to kill the meatball sub at uh, Subway in college. That was That's a lot of things. Hell yeah, bucks. meatball marinara. Yeah, Man, it was fire. Go hard in the club. That was high technology back you then. You know, so, that kind wait, of stuff. You hit so hard in the club. <laughs> I was in the club eating meatball subs. <laughs> so what if what? you go to eat now and you turn a burger into a lettuce wrap? Does it be? Does it? Is it not a burger anymore, or is it a I burger? Think it's just a lettuce wrap. The wrap. Hamburger the lettuce wrap. wrapped around it. So it loses no, the burger. No, it's just a burger, but you took off. No, it's basically a burger you took off the buns. No, it's a lettuce wrap. And you and you name a lettuce wrap with what's in it. Think about it. Okay. Chicken lettuce wrap, Chicken hamburger wrap. lettuce wrap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know, whatever the last are, thing well, is, is what it is. You say what? No, but those are typically like, like lunch meat type of, when you say wrap, because you wouldn't take a, 
a hamburger patty and wrap it. So that's why they no, call it No, you got to like wrap a- that bitch up like it's a diaper. Sometimes you got, you know, like it's a roll, <laughs> but then it's also like a swaddle that you got to do for that does. burger. Definitely but that's important does. because that it, that basically solves the problem. That, that basically proves is it is it the bread or the meat that makes it a burger? Because if the if the pat like Meg said, if the patty's still in the lettuce wrap, it's still a burger. But if it's about the bread, then it ain't a burger no more. Right. Oh, hold up. Put it like this. It's a burger bun, right? Hamburger bun. Yeah. Not that. I mean, you know what I'm saying? But no, because then it's a hamburger say patty. Yeah, hamburger patty. Right, right. Mm. Wait, so then is a hot dog a sandwich? I was just no, thinking no. about that. We it, we were it, talking it, it about this. Before. Hey, a hot dog is low-key a taco when you it's, think about it. Oh, you know oh it's crazy. It's no, it's taco, taco ain't sandwich. bread. Taco is a tortilla. Tell that to the chalupa. Hey, I, I did a video on this. This it, the <laughs> answer is actually hilarious. So many people debated this that the National Association of like Franks and Sausages or whatever it is, they had to announce that a hot dog is not a sandwich. Like, Imagine like, them like, dusting off that microphone to make an announcement. First of all, why is there a National Association of Franks an, and Sausages? There's an association for like hot dogs, and they were like, no, Bro. they had like robes on. <laughs> <laughs> why, why do they need to make that distinction? Uh, what the- <laughs> same, same thing with Uno, I guess. The the what, the is if you take two, what, what if you take two pieces of pizza and turn them like this? That's a sandwich? An open face sandwich is like a deconstructed taco, Pat. It's just, you know, people have their picks and chooses. That's man. toast. Open <laughs> face sandwich? That's just so a, a piece of bread with one thing on top and it's not closed, which that's is toast. That's what a hot dog is. A hot dog is an open face sandwich. Is this an open face sandwich? It's on one side. To hear, exactly. stop saying like you know for sure with your little. Uh, tell you what That's it is. Stop it's doing a convertible that. sandwich. It's, it's the, they left the top back on the glizzy, the glizzy back, and you just you go to work on it, man. Have y'all ever cut a hot dog in half and put it between two pieces of bread, turn it to a sandwich? Yes. You make it yeah. flat. Yeah, yeah. You cry eating that, but it's good, man. No, that's link. That's a hot link sandwich. Yeah. That's just no, fire. I ain't say hot. I say hot dog, but I feel hot link is a different story. Hot link is a little. You put some mustard in that bitch. You feel accomplished. Hot dogs, them bitches feel like a damn uh, log cabin that you eating between us. <laughs> but when you're hungry, you you don't care. You eat it. You'll cry afterwards, but you are gonna eat that shit. Yeah, yeah. What about what about breakfast sandwiches? Because there's no patty unless there's a sausage. But I've seen burgers that just had like eggs and and bacon and stuff. Does that make it a sandwich? Who called that a burger? Yeah, who called that a burger? Nobody called that a burger but you. Breakfast burger? You've never seen that? I've seen oh. breakfast burger. When you put like it, egg But it gotta have a patty on it, it though. It's like it gotta it have does a have the patty on it though. If it's a breakfast sandwich, it usually doesn't have a patty or is it like on a biscuit or something. Man, we sound so fat. Like this is our conversation. Low key, like, I, it, after the more people, we talked about that, I was like, bro, burger low key sounds good, but also does a taco also sounds good too. Yeah, see about those kids. At this point, I think that I feel like they're the same thing. <laughs> like I'm confused now because they both have two pieces. Mm. I don't know. I think regardless of what exactly a burger is, the burger we found out falls under the sandwich. So the taco is kind of its own thing. Obviously, you can do quesadillas and all that stuff. But I feel like I would pick tacos because it's different. And even if you missed out on burgers, we found enough loopholes where we would still be able to eat hella sandwiches. <laughs> That's actually a fantastic point. Tacos yeah. are like TikTok. You know what I'm saying? They came on a little later, a little bit more pizzazz. You could customize them <laughs> a bunch of different ways. <laughs> burgers is like Facebook, been around for a minute, you know, the standard. I feel yeah. like tacos have been around forever. I feel, I feel like, like tacos were around before. Too. I feel like more people start off eating burgers before they eat tacos. If you're not Mexican, you go to McDonald's before you go to Taco Bell. Remember them little kids that Michael Jackson was feeding that oatmeal too on the Men in the Mirror video? I wonder if they watching this shit like, all of it sounds good to me. <laughs> Let's put it to a vote. I know <laughs> where where CP's mind goes never ceases to amaze they be me. Like, so they be dumb. like, I'll take both. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have one of each, please. That was so random. It was nothing was even insinuating Michael Jackson. He just uh, put that thin air. CP is I mean, always was... thinking about something else. When, when you're talking, CP is like, <laughs> I'm thinking about this, though. What, uh, uh, which way are you going with CP? Uh, I'm going, um, I'm going taco, man. They ain't never did me wrong. Man, I'm going to go taco. Um, because I like seafood and I like being vegan, I'm going to do burgers. I'll, I'll stick with burgers. <laughs> because I like seafood and being vegan right after each other. <laughs>
that ain't makes me so sick. Because yeah. I like having sex and being celibate, I'm gonna go with uh, horn. <laughs> uh, Kevin, like who eating. you go with? Uh, man, I love food. <laughs> I'm probably going with burgers. I'm going with burgers too. So looks like looks like the burgers have it on that one. We're gonna jump right into this last and final topic right after this. You know, it's a lot of stuff we can't talk about. We don't either have the data or, you know, it hasn't been out long enough for us to really tell. But one thing that we do know, like we know for sure, because statistics and facts, is that two out of three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time they are 35. Two out of three. It's three of y'all watching right now. Two of y'all gonna feel that. You understand me? I might feel that. You understand me? More than 50 million men in the U.S. suffer from male pattern baldness. And there are only two FDA-approved medications that can prevent hair loss. Keeps offers both. Do you understand what I'm saying? You have something in place that you can use to start to save your hair. All right? Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair. Convenient virtual doctor consultations and medications delivered straight to your door every three months. You don't have to leave your home. A lot of times people don't do something like, oh, I don't feel like getting dressed and going down there, getting in the car, parking, go standing in line, waiting to get caught up, just to go in there and talk about this. I understand that. I understand that. And I'm telling you, you don't have to do that, all right? It's delivered straight to your door. Low cost. Treatment started at just $10 per month and keeps offers generic versions as well, all right? You get discreet packaging and proven results. Discreet because you don't want everybody in your business. Proven results because you want to get your money's worth. And that's exactly what you're going to get with Keeps, all right? Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. And prevention is key, guys. I cannot stress this enough. Treatments can take between four and six months to see results. So act fast. Don't keep prolonging it. Don't keep telling the barber, just do what you can. No, you do what you can and get you some keeps. Right now, I want to I, I, I want to offer this to you, okay? If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to K-E-E-P-S dot com slash squad. That's S-Q-U-A-D-D to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash squad to get your first month for free. Keeps.com slash squad. Ladies and gentlemen, do it. Do it now. Last topic of the day, last and final, uh, the finale of topics, the absolute <laughs> ending topic of the day, per Kevin's request, we have, you have to give up one for the rest of your life, bacon versus chicken. Oh. You know, I always had a question. Of course, man. Is this just pork bacon or like turkey bacon? All. Mm. All turkey bacon, bacon. do not bring that into this conversation. Turkey bacon, bacon. Nobody actually considers. Hey, it. We're, just, we're just like, talking pork bacon, right? We're talking all bacon, Meg. But we turkey we, bacon is like fruit snacks to fruit. <laughs> fruit snacks are delicious, so it's right. Bacon. Well, turkey bacon is all right, but I'm saying it's not the real thing. It's like it's. Okay, it's so it's, it's, it's my question. Are we I saying prefer fruit, fruit snacks to bacon? real fruit, though. All bacon, Meg. That's my third yeah, time saying all right. bacon. CP. CP says is we're not doing that. So that's you ever had beef bacon? bacon? We're doing all bacon. Beef bacon is really good. We're doing all bacon because yeah. we're doing all chicken. Baked chicken, all ch fried chicken. Oh, all, chicken. all chicken? All yeah, chicken. Oh, this is crazy. Man, See, that's even, thing. Why y'all say that? That's not even... You dealing with one little breakfast food or sometimes... Oh, you oh, hold, on, on the hold on. Hold on. What you won't do, what you won't do, okay, on Beyonce's internet is disrespect bacon. bacon. That's what you don't... Flat out. First of all, bacon ain't even supposed to be on Earth. Bacon was well. something that was created. Was, we weren't supposed <laughs> to see bacon until we got to the pearly gates. Until Flat you out. showed that you had lived a life that is fulfilling and worth it. <laughs> you ain't even supposed to taste it. Somebody brought bacon down to Earth by accident. We weren't even supposed to know this. Can I tell her to hear? Can I tell her to hear? Bacon is the name of the meat. It's the flavor of the meat. Mm -hmm. And it's a seasoning. Bacon okay. creates its own grease. It's the it only does. meat that's ready to go out the pack. You understand? It's like you, you have to do nothing to bacon. But what, what, what you know what you add to bacon? Fire. <laughs> My grandma, great grandma, used to make bacon first and then cook her eggs in the bacon fat right. grease. Boy, when I tell you, I was like, this is why we be going early. But boy, <laughs> we be having a good time while we're Let here. Let me tell you something. We, <laughs> I first took that first break last year in August, right? I don't know what happened. I think we just cooked too much bacon. One, one day we were at the house out in the, in the desert and Fran cooked a whole pack of bacon, right? And we, just, we didn't eat all of it. It just sat 
on the table, on the counter all day, right? And each time I walked past it, I, I, I snapped a little piece off and I ate it. It was all day bacon. And I was like, this should be a thing. All day bacon was, should be a thing. <laughs> It Bro, was all no. day bacon is hilarious. They have bars. They have Bottom. bars that have a bacon hour where they come around the bar with fresh, warm, crispy bacon for everybody in the bar. Like it's a thing. I promise you. I promise y'all mean you. Y'all tell up. me y'all would y'all would rather eat bacon for the rest of your life than fried chicken. We don't listen to me. I can't. I can't control it. You, you ever seen Pookie in New Jack City? I don't want this. I just, it just happened. It just happened. <laughs> I feel like bacon is amazing and it has a lot of features. It, it, they wrap it and everything, but it's not chicken. Chicken yeah. is out. Here. Chicken is LeBron James. Yeah, oh my, it is. Got fried bacon. It's been MVP so long, we're sick of it. Yeah. <laughs> you lose it. It's been good so long, we don't appreciate it. But the moment it's gone, you'll yeah. miss it. Yeah. yeah. Stri strips and wings. Yeah, Even if you want to eat healthy only, there's a lot of healthy ways to prepare chicken. Obviously, you can yep. you can grill it, the salad, weight, the weightlifting dudes, their whole diet is doggone grilled chicken breasts and broccoli. I mean, unless you're on keto, then you could do bacon, but but man, even rotisserie bacon, which I feel like baked chicken don't get as much of notoriety as it should. Fried chicken is fantastic. But some days baked chicken be hidden. Wings, wings is chicken. Ain't no buffalo bacon. Yeah, <laughs> no bacon wings. No Bro, Jimmy, Jimmy John. What's the, not Jimmy John? What's the hot, Jersey Mike's has a Jersey buffalo Mike. chicken sub that Damn basically. Way. Oh my god! LAX, this yeah, yeah, yeah. The Delta Terminal, world. yes, sir. Bro, you know CP. <laughs> yes, sir. They put it where and a wraps? coffee shop used to be. That's a happy oh. flight right there. That's a that's a damn good flight. You got your it's little a good flight wrap. right there. Wait, what? It, so wait, is that also mean no eggs too? If there's no chicken. Nah, oh. just the meat chicken. Just the meat, just the meat. Just okay, okay, yeah. Well, it'd probably be better eggs because the chickens would feel like they're under less pressure to perform nuggets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're like, man, they ain't after my goddamn nuggets. I, I, I can make y'all some better eggs. I ain't stressed my out. <laughs> what part is the nuggets, CP? The nuts, you know? <laughs> hey, that would be yes. a crazy twi twi uh, twist in our lives. If that drop, that info drop. <laughs> Our whole life. How old were you when you started to notice that every McDonald's nugget is either a boot or an ear? You started to be like, wait a fucking minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I remember when I was a kid, I took the skin, I mean, to, yeah, the, the, the coating off. I was like, what is this? It's uh, not even don't you dare look behind the curtain of a McNugget. <laughs> remember how it's not attached? When you take the batter off, you see that the meat yeah. and the batter is like this far apart from each yeah. other. It's just floating. It's just floating in the abyss. Yeah. It's just around. They don't even they don't even rock with each other like that. They just gotta it's go a, to the same school. They're like that in there. Step brothers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only thing man. about bacon is when people don't eat pork, uh, pork, they don't have the choice of good breakfast meats. Pork dominates the breakfast meat game. Oh, Beef true. don't got no place in it. Turkey bacon got a little sliver, but for, for the most part, breakfast meats is all pork. Chicken don't really go good except like waffles. Yeah, yeah I mean, like a specialty dish. Yeah, but even Chick Fil A, Chick Fil A breakfast is pretty solid though. Yeah, but they got it's chicken sausage. But see, y'all ever noticed that I think. Pork might not make you as sleepy as some of these other meats. And I think that might be the reason for taking it to the breakfast. It makes it sleep. It makes you sleepier, right? Pork does? No. I, I, I think yeah, like it does. I'll tell you what. I had pork some, ribs? I had some bacon wrapped pork ribs one time. Damn. Damn. Dog to hear. Damn. There's bacon so much wrong ribs? with that statement. First of all, you need to stop eating fat back because you got a fat back. Secondly, <laughs> you're not supposed to be eating that much pork because pigs are freaking dirty. They don't sweat. <laughs> to hear what I meet, I really want to meet a pig, pig that's like a, pig. you say what? He really eats pig wrapped in pig. He's like, that's this ain't enough. Wrap it in pig and give me a pig milk. <laughs> What's all this pigs are dirty shit though? I want to meet a pig that's like smart, watches Harry Potter and then like meet like a tur like a turkey that like smokes cigarettes. Like, you think I'm good because I'm a turkey? My father was a turkey? You think I, I want that pressure? Fuck 
the world. You know what I'm saying? And the pig is like, oh, man, my father world. was a turkey. I would love a, a hipster pig. That's a Disney movie. Right. Right. A, and he's a, like, he wearing little glasses. Little axe body spray. His little ass is fat as good ham. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, you don't want to be dirty. His family is like, we are supposed to be dirty and pigs. He's like, I don't want to be. I want to shop at Aldo. Yeah, little skinny pig, pig jeans. He got, he got a little, he got a little Prius. And like, dude, this is a cool pig, bro. And then you got this turkey over here who's on fucking meth. And this, this turkey been having a unprotected sex. This turkey is out of control. And we just, we just like, oh, this turkey is so delicious. The second and the healthy. Like, nigga, we need. <laughs> I don't know these animals. The turkey's <laughs> like, I don't want your life. <laughs> I don't the care. Turkey's sharing needles. <laughs> turkey, like my father was a preacher. He, he, my father was preaching turkey bacon. I didn't want to do that shit. <laughs> Imagine in a turkey tying off. Listen, if this is what I want to do in my life. This is what I'm going to do here. What do you call That's turkey? Uh, yeah, you want TKs? You want a TK? <laughs> turkey kids? <laughs> like, you know, he, he, be, he a TK, man. You know, take, turkey kids got it fucked up in the head sometimes. Y'all <laughs> <laughs> oh, make oh me my smile. God. That That's... is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a turkey bath now. All you hear on the side is like, woo. <laughs> nigga, the turkey got the got the blicky on. I'm like, nigga, what? what, what? Right, you, right, right. I've been watching right. Snowfall. <laughs> I had your mama sucking on my giblet, nigga. You know, <laughs> hit, this, hit this neck. <laughs> you know, there's balls in that neck. You think there's just there's balls in there? And yeah. the pig is like, this turkey. Where you think the term <laughs> neck came from? That was us. We was the yeah. one that said, we nah. throwing neck. That was turkey, bro. We put that in the Urban Dictionary. We oh, <laughs> gobble dee, 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 now drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot? Oh, that's hilarious, bro. <laughs> no. Hey, I'm done with y'all, man. Put this shit to a vote. <laughs> Uh, nah, man, I want to see this turkey cartoon where this pig has glasses on. They meet each other in college and they yes, both are bro. a disappointment to their family. I need to bro, see this. Kev on stage out. animation when it comes, bro. Holler at me. Bro. <laughs> we need to do some of these shows. You can't man. do it, Kev. As soon as you do something like that, they're going to start pushing and you. You got a hidden agenda off on people. Oh, boy. Nah, that goes. I know I made it when they say uh, he, he's part of the agenda. He got the Hollywood. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shut up. The agenda. I only want, uh, if we voted, I want, I, I could live without bacon. I don't think I could live without chicken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As much as I love bacon, I'd be going a lot of days without eating bacon. But every time I have it, I'd be like, mm, I love bacon. Why don't I eat this more? Oh, yeah. 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 That's why. Yeah. <laughs> yep. yeah, man, man, there's spot. few things better than a perfectly cooked piece of bacon, like perfectly done. That few is. things but, are better than that. But one of those things is a piece of, of buttermilk. Like Oh my, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, no, I was like, with a good ratio of the meat to the fat. Yes. The bacon, there's- Yes. Food. The only thing better than that is a perfectly golden fry buttermilk piece of chicken made in a cast iron skillet. That's another, that's a fantastic point because few things can beat a, a piece of chicken fried to perfection. Yeah. But I feel like- Those two are at the top of their game. Go head to head in deliciousness, but like, that's it for bacon. Like, base, perfect bacon and fried chicken are unhealthy. You know when you're eating it. But chicken, like, you eat it so much, you bear, like, you're like, I'm going to eat healthy. I'm going to have a salad with chicken in it or a wrap with chicken in it. Like, this, like I feel like there's no healthy bacon where you feel That's a don't fantastic feel point. Yeah, bacon, bacon always make you feel guilty. Oh, I feel guilty. better off that hotel bacon that's damn near a breast strip. <laughs> that, bro, the hotel bacon be like. Be like, all right. Y'all just fried up some uh, notebook paper and put bacon flavoring <laughs> on it. Maybe you have 8,000 slices in that little continental thing. None is a real piece of bacon. Now Can I chew up. something? Can I have something to chew, please? God damn it. <laughs> and then they mix that with the eggs out of the car, and they'll be like, man, just, I'm going uh, to eat breakfast somewhere else. Yeah, bacon flavor raw papers. <laughs> <laughs> While you boost, somebody going to do it. Somebody uh, definitely going to do it. Man, you guys are fucking hilarious, man. Jeez. Nah, man, that's y'all, man. Well, that's hey, chicken ramen. I forgot about that. Chicken ramen. Mm. Oh, yeah, see, you didn't even talk about that. And all of the, the, the Asian foods that chicken comes in? All right. Yeah, I'm going chicken. <laughs> oh, no, chicken. Me too. Chicken. I go chicken as well. 
I knew the chicken was gonna take it. I knew it was gonna take I'm it. I'm just, I'm just, I just hope Bacon don't see this. Like, I, I don't want no smoke. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't. This is it. They asked me. You know what I'm saying? Fuck one, kill one. I didn't, I didn't. This is not. Oh, what I <laughs> go go into his refrigerator and Bacon gonna have a cigarette. Oh, you home? Oh, no, 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 no. What was all that you were saying? Funny. Chicken up there. Go holler at the chicken. Dick. <laughs> I heard you key, 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 key and all with the other people on there. No. Touch me. <laughs> well, listen, uh, definitely want to thank our special guest, CP, for stopping through and hanging out with us. Uh, and then, of course, a big shout out to the squad, Meg Scoop, Patrick Cloud, Kev on stage. I'm to hear more. Thank you guys for your suggestions. Continue to send those to my inbox on Instagram. We'll see you next week on another episode of Squadcast Bursts. Peace. Peace.